Hey, what's up? It's Hugo here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to stop iPhoto from automatically opening when you connect your iPhone or iPod or iPad, I think as well, uh, to your Mac. So I've got my iPhone here and you'll notice that if I plug it into my computer here or to my Mac, it will not only obviously start charging, but it's also automatically going to open up iPhoto, which I don't especially want. Uh, I don't want to always transfer my pictures every time I connect my phone. Maybe I just want to manage my music or just simply charge my mm -hmm. phone. Uh, so today I'm going to show you guys how to disable uh, iPhoto from automatically open. It's actually really, really simple once you know how to do it, but uh, let's get right into it. Go ahead and quit iPhoto. So make sure your iPhone or your device is still connected and go ahead and launch the application called Image Capture. Now, this is already on your Mac by default, so you don't need to download any extra stuff. And the easiest way to get there is by uh, looking it up in your spotlight, which is at the top right of your Mac. So simply start uh, typing image and you should be able to find the Image Capture application. Once you launch it up, you'll be able to see your devices on the left hand side here uh, and right once you've selected your devices if you just uh, go right under your devices you'll be able to find the option uh, connecting phone opens and then you can choose which application it opens as well as uh, no application at all so go ahead and just set this option to no application and there you go that's it from now on every time you connect your phone iPhoto will not automatically open and now the bad thing about this is that you have to do it for every single one of your devices if you have multiple devices but uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem once it's done you don't need to do it anymore um, so you'll notice that if I unplug my phone now and I replug it in obviously it will start uh, charging my phone but it will not automatically open iPhoto so I personally thought that was kind of annoying because I don't always want to import my uh, photos so that's pretty much how you did that hopefully it helped uh, if it did, please be sure to like the video and uh, of course uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, I'll thank you a lot for watching once again and I'll see you guys later. Peace.